Hello YouTube, back at it again with Angel Feathers, because I got this deck back for some reason. Um, honestly, the real reason why I built this deck is because I got it for a steal. I got it for like half the price it was going for. Um, Angel Feathers, it's a deck that exists. You manipulate the damage zone, I think. That's what you do, right, Richard? I don't, I don't know. know, man. I don't play, I don't play non-paladin decks. I don't know how to play this game. So, uh, Osreal's a starter, because it's a nice plus. You combos one move to soul, get a card from damage out to your hand. So, you know, search that PG, it's cool. Four copies of the main grill, Black Shiver Gabriel. Why she gotta be black? I don't know, man. Ask Bushi. So... I, I'm not even going to tell you what it does. I've done like four different deck profiles, and also this is just a the, one of the best uh, the uh, the best GB two skill and one of, and like a really good card. It was meta for a time. I'm not telling you what this card does. Um, from BT nine, four copies of Black Devote for Leg. Um, it's funny. I think GB one while it's in the damage zone, you counterblast one, you heal a damage. You call her from damage, you put the top deck into the damage, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, it's counter blast one in damage zone, call her, put the top card of your deck into the damage zone, rescue one, take a damage, deck thinning, also, um, when you use her as your stride cost to go into a G unit, you can soul blast one to move her to the damage zone and heal the damage, so you can just proc her own ability from striding, which is kind of cool. So, she's a decent card. I'm a fan. I like her. Uh, it's Angel Feather. What Angel Feather deck would be complete without four copies of Broken Heart? End of sentence. Um, next, to, also from BT09, is Black Relief or um, Aeratron. Three copies. It's a hilarious card. When, uh, when a card is rescued, not once per turn, you can counterblast one, call the rescued card behind her. No, call it to the same column. So you can call this, and then use this one to call that for shenanigans. It helps make multiple attacks and some nice shenanigans. I like her. She's hilarious. You should run her. Running two copies of uh, Black Slice Harutz, because honestly, with her Aratron and Str Gavriel Stride skill and just shenanigans, you don't superior call a lot, and also her ability is just decent-ish, so like only at two, but she's good. She, um, she's good. She lets you call stuff, which is always nice. Then two copies of uh, Laser Clutcher Kael. Um, when she's rescued, you can call her with 3k. I'd probably replace, maybe replace her with more, um, Harutz, but that would involve me having to spend more money, which I really don't feel like doing. Um, then four copies of Doctroid Remnon, which is the rescue PG. While it's in the damage zone, not the drop zone like every other PG with an ability, the damage zone, um, what, while there's a copy of the damage zone, when you perfect guard, so you need to have basically two perfect guards, one here, one there, you can counterblast one, rescue a card, which is nice because you can proc Garvail's GB2 with the fun ability, maybe get a trigger to make defense easier. It's a fun, funny card, fun, fun, funny. Um, it's a G deck because it's Gavrail. Stride fodder. Gets you the better ride tar targets. You should probably get it. Uh, because I don't have the money to get more Nokials, we're running three copies of Black Bomber Malik, which is when she's called from damage, for some reason, why couldn't it just be from hand? It's not that broken. It gets on attack, right? When it, um, at the end of the battle that it boosts. When it attacked, or attacked for some yeah. reason. So at the end of the battle that it attacked or boost, you can rescue one. What's stupid about this is not only do you have to call her from damage zone, she only gets the ability until the end of the turn. It's not even permanent. So like, why couldn't it just be on call whenever until the end of the turn, until the end of turn, or I don't know, maybe make it permanent, then it would have been fine. But you know, it's hilarious when it works, and if you get stand triggers, proc multiple rescues, and it's a nice budget alternative to Nokial. And probably my favorite card, just due to the sheer hilarious play and meme factor, is three copies of uh, Black Mirage Hagit. It's Counter Blast 1, rest it. If you have 5 damage, because that was a necessary limitation on rescue, having 5 damage, you can rescue 2. So, what's hilarious about her, is not only does she let you sack some triggers, is if in front of her 
you got Aratron, you can rescue something and then call something behind her because she's kind of bust one, but because you rescue two, you can basically unflip two. So her ability is basically free. And if you have, you know, another copy of Hagit in your damage zone, rest, rescue Hagit, skill, call Hagit, skill for shenanigans and triggers. It's, it can make some funny plays. So yeah, that's why this deck exists for the these these funny funny plays. Next, what I'm talking about is the triggers, because what's Vanguard without triggers? Running one copy of our favorite probably a better game. Real though, one copy of probably a good game. Yeah. The better is a bit of a stretch. Um, Doctrine Refros. Everyone's favorite band uh, limited card because artificial unflipping and yeah li unlimited loops Four copies of the rescue stand surgery angel, which is pretty dumb after th at the end of the battle that it boosts counterblast one shuffle into the deck rescue so yeah, it um It's a nice hard minus because you lose a unit and you don't get a, at least a draw out of it But rescuing during the battle phase is always nice to give criticals to places um, then four copies of Sunny Smile Angel, which you're gonna keep after 2017 Fighters Collection, because that new heal is Garbo, even the G-Guard sucks. So, yeah, it's a heal with a skill that puts itself back. So next is four copies of Black Spark Munker, it's the Gavrail critical, for stuff. Then three copies of Critical Hit Angel, it's a trigger with a skill. If you're not playing subclans and you don't run triggers with skills, and you can, you're bad. Next is, from BTO9, because I'm poor, four copies of Holy Seraph Ulthiel, which is on stride, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, uh, G Flip something, for every face up Ulthiel in the G zone, rescue, to stride, rescue, end of turn, stride, flip, Rescue 3. It's funny. It makes funny plays with Fall Leg and Hagit if you have 5 damage. And for some reason it just counter it has an ability where it's GB3, counter blast 1, give your front row 2 cut. So it's a nice budget card, which I like because I'm poor. And I play other games. Four copies, like, like Buddy Fight, I like to play good games. Four copies of Raphael, free healing. Next, because I'm poor. Black Seraph, two copies of Black Seraph Gavril, who's a nice card for battle phase stuff, and she can help you attack and do rescue and increase power. She's nice. I like her. Um, one copy of Raziel for a lot of unflips, and you can make Broken Heart hilariously big. So yeah, Raziel. One copy of Ophiel, or, no, sorry, Orifiel, because limit... Because literal limit break plus 5k is good for shields, but also Angel Feather G guards don't gain hard shield numbers, so they could kind of use one. Then Holy Seraph Serial on guard counter blast one check top move to top or bottom rescue triggering during your opponent's turn. Nice scry you discard for 10k. It's a duck like in superior call. You're gonna have the hand probably dismal. Um. Pick a rear guard, and it can't be touched for the turn. And Sea Breeze, because screw people that are great locked. Um, uh, real talk though, I'm selling this deck because I don't really use it a lot. I don't. I honestly just don't play Vanguard as much anymore because I play Buddy Fight a lot more. I'm still keeping my other decks, but I'm just like I'm not really feeling Angel Feather that much, and I want to just pull, just decrease what I have. So if you're interested in this deck, just say so, and I'll send you my email, and we can talk about it if you want the deck. I um, I have to keep the Cray Elemental G-Guards because I use them for my other decks, so I'll just include a copy of Zakariel, Surreal, and Orithiel to um, make up for them. But yeah, if you're interested in this deck, just PM me, because I'm very poor, and I'm playing Buddy Fight, and I kind of want, I just, I don't have a job yet. So if you're interested in this deck, just hit Big Daddy Vitamin G up and uh, we can work something out. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, fam dog.